they were asking specific questions like, where can I find a Bible? Where can I get a prayer book or a rosary? Uh, do you have any study courses on the Catholic faith or on the Bible, you know, for, for inmates? And I thought, well... Our system is about punishment. Restorative justice is about healing, repairing the harm for everybody. The story of uh, how the, this ministry was founded really began with an inmate. I was corresponding with him and um, he was so instructive to me about what his needs were spiritually. And I didn't find much that was available within the Catholic community to respond to those, those needs. And that's when the idea of starting a ministry began. In 1998, I was uh, detained by the uh, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, now called by ICE. And um, I was sent to a detention center in San Pedro, California. In that place, I witnessed the pain of the women when they were going to be deported. I witnessed the struggle that they have knowing that they will leave the children behind. I, I don't know what the population for California is right now, but it was at one time 160,000 inmates, and it's more than that now. So, so that's a real challenge. So it's just the financial challenge of trying to serve that many people all at once. We did our math, and um, we had reached the point of serving 43 states. And in order for us to serve the last seven, we would have to double our budget just to serve that many people in prison. So that's been the challenge. To me, I wouldn't survive without my Bible and my prayers and everything that will nurture me to keep my faith alive, to understand that uh, even though the place is not the place but I, where I want to be, I can transform that place and I can live in peace because my my spirit is free, but the only way to have it and to be secure about it is through our readings, through our prayings, prayers, through our Bible. So it is important, it's vital to have religious material when you are in prison. And they're looking for materials that are specifically Catholic, but they help them uh, to understand scripture and then to study their Catholic faith in depth, and then also to grow in a life of prayer. It's not about giving time when you commit a crime. It's about repairing the harm to the victim, uh, healing to all the, the community that is wounded, and also we need to rehabilitate the person that committed the crime. It involves all of us together. This is not about just the offender and the victim. It's about all of us. All of us are wounded when a crime happens. I personally have walked with uh, inmates toward their baptism and have been their sponsors and I continue to correspond with them and to see the growth of their faith and how stable and, and uh, deep they become in their relationship with the Lord. It's beautiful to see.